Okay, we knew it was coming, but now we know when you're getting that rebate that everyone's been talking about. The inflation relief checks are up to 30 up to $1,050. Here's NBC Barry Stephanie Maguillon with details we've all been waiting for and how experts say you should be spending it. October 7th, that's the first day Californians will start receiving the much needed middle class tax refund. Money meant to help ease the black cloud looming over thousands like single mother Ara Soto because of inflation related debt. With the prices being high with groceries, um, we can't even eat out, <laughs> so you know, it's really hard. To get your hands on this money, you need to have filed a 2020 tax return by October of last year. You can't be someone's dependent. You need to have lived here for more than six months and you need to meet the income requirements. For that, pull out your tax forms and check these lines, which tell you your adjusted gross income. If you're married, file jointly and make less than $150,000 and have at least one dependent, you're getting the full amount, $1,050. Families making over $500,000 a year don't qualify. The amount you're receiving does change if you filed your taxes as head of household or single. To find out exactly how much you'll be receiving, visit this website, the State of California Franchise Tax Board, and use this tool. It'll tell you if you qualify and how much exactly you'll be receiving. Also important to know is if you included a bank routing number in your 2020 tax returns, your refund will be deposited directly into your bank account between October 7th and November 14th. If not, you'll receive it in a debit card that will be mailed out between October 25th and January 15th. So how should you spend this money? Experts say start by clearing out your credit card debt because you're looking at high interest rates on credit card debt. And um, you don't want to, um, one, have them snowball into a situation where you can't even pay the minimum payment. Recent federal data shows credit card debt in the first quarter of this year went up by $770 billion when compared to the same time last year. Families say, sure, it'll help but only for a moment. Eventually, what we do want is to see this, you know, prices going down, not just for gas, but for everything else. In San Jose, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.